Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So it's taken me a fair amount of time to work on some stuff tonight for this episode. So let's have a look at the mech bays. Um, so we've jumped planets, first of all. Um, we're at a four and a half skull planet in the Capella, or in the, uh, um, God, House, <laughs> House Carita. Um, Draconis Combine, thank you. Uh, so we've done some work on some of the mechs here. So um, I've been doing kind of minor tweaks to a few of them. The Grasshopper, we haven't touched this thing in since forever. So let's have a look at it. It's not much different, but it is a little different. Um, we had a tons of empty spaces before, uh, and I was able to switch a few things around. We pulled the cl we weren't using this guy in melee at all, and, and I can't remember who it was that said it was a bad idea to put melee stuff on this. They're 100% totally correct. Because we never end up using it, right? I completely forgot it was there. We never ended up using it. So I pulled out the claws that were on both arms and the um, uh, lower leg melee actuator that we had. Pulled those off completely. And then what we did is we dropped another flamer in the center torso here. Um, we moved... Uh, what do we have? Um, I can't remember what we moved now. We had something else in the CT here. Oh, I, I, sorry. Yeah, we had the... Uh, we had a different gyro in here. I had the melee gyro. We replaced it with a defense gyro. So we get some uh, bonus evasion, um, maximum evasion pips, defense against being hit. So that'll help uh, with, uh, with getting hit. Uh, I also had extra space left over, believe it or not. Uh, so I added some, like a fluid gun. Um, I changed the exchanger in here. We had a clan exchanger in here. Uh, we had space, like weight we needed to use up. So I put a regular exchanger in it, which added two tons. Um, and I changed out the slick suite to, our, to the range finder, which gives us 100 uh, base sight and plus one initiative because she's up front um, a lot with Megasaur. So hopefully this will allow her to spot mechs for Megasaur. Uh, so that's why I dropped that in there. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. I toyed around with the idea of putting the advanced AMS in this thing. Um, but really it would mean pulling, like, I, I tr like it's three tons plus ammo and then plus case and stuff. So uh, there wasn't really enough to do that. Uh, and since if we're gonna be facing harder targets, uh, I like the idea of having the uh, 10 flamers, the fluid gun and the uh, SRM-6 um, putting out uh, Inferno ammo. That way we have much better chances to hit uh, and keep them shut down. And we can perhaps even shut down more than one mech at a time with this loadout. So I'm kind of hoping that's how it works. So that's all we did to the Grasshopper. Now. We're gonna have a look at the blood asp. Um, we had a couple of PPCs on here. Um, I can't even remember what else we had on here. It was, um, I think we had a, a large and an ultra five on here. We lost a l our large and the ultra five and the one whole left side of this mech. Uh, we lost a ton of double heat sinks, or um, sorry, prototype double heat sinks. So I had issues with reloading this guy out. I couldn't keep the two PPCs. Um, so I kind of got rid of them. We put them in the Defiance here, and I'll show you that loadout once it comes back. Um, but the Blood Asp, let's have a look at this. Um, I decided to go a different route with this, and I went with the LRM-20s. Now, I was able to buy in the store a Fire Control System Missile XR, which gives us a bonus to direct fire missile attacks and bonus to long-range missile damage. So these missile racks will do five damage each. Uh, with the swarm, it'll be seven. Um, so yeah, it's going to help out a little bit. Um, but the other thing about this too is I put a supercharger in it, so now we'll be able to get into combat a lot faster. Um, and with like you know the plus one to hit, plus two to hit, plus three to hit, the weapon mounts giving plus three to hit on each arm too. Uh, these LRM twenties are going to be hitting hopefully you know a fair bit. Now I did have only limited amounts of ammo unfortunately so when you're running an lrm 80 you need a ton of ammo right so i've got about 12 turns total with everything i got here um i've got um three and a half turns of lk ammo or three and a quarter turns of lk ammo uh well three and three quarters turn i guess um the thunder ammo we've got three turns of thunder ammo and then swarm um We've got about four and a bit turns, something like that. So we, I think we'll have enough ammo. If not, we're gonna have to figure things out. Uh, but as you can see, I maxed out all the slots on this, and it's running relatively heat efficient. 
Um, not as best as I would like it to run, but we do have the heat bank in here, which is taking a couple spaces. Um, and this here, this exchanger, so uh, it's and it's weight heavy. So I mean, if we needed to cram more ammo in it, there is a way we could do that. It would you know be at the cost of heat, but you know we can do our best. And if I can find uh, more e cooling, then we can pull out probably the heat bank and the exchanger and figure this out here. Uh, I didn't want to buy the plus four. I don't have a plus four. I only have plus one and plus six, I think. Um, but the plus four was 900 and 960,000 or something. And we're starting to lose C-bills from all the refitting I was doing. So I didn't want to go too far low, uh, too far down on our C-bill stockpile right now. So that's kind of why I went this route. Um, I don't know if it'll stay this way, but I mean, it is what it is right now. And then the Orion I didn't touch. Um, the Black Knight is still getting repaired, um, so I haven't had a chance to touch it yet. It's got a lot of repairs. It's got to, got to have happen on this one, so once that happens, we shall do that. Uh, what else here? I was looking at the Cataphract and the Archer, but I didn't change anything on those two. I played around with the idea of perhaps removing the um, uh, Artemis Fire Control on this and putting in the, uh, the Missile XL or Missile XR uh, Fire Control System in here. But then, you know, this guy's got his missiles in the torsos, which means I can't use weapon mounts, so the accuracy would greatly drop, uh, which is why I switched it over to the Blood Asp and put all the missiles in the arms, which should give us really, really great chance to hit. So I'm interested to see how hard this guy can actually hit. Um, but at this point in the stage in, in, this, uh, in the series and stuff, it's, you know, it's nice to experiment with a few things. And the Orion, um, we do have the Klein XL engine in this thing already. Um, and once we get a bit more C-bills, this is the next guy that's going to get refit. Now, I've got a couple of Rack 2s I want to throw in the arms. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have the ability to put Rack 2s in the arms. Um, that was what I was hoping to do with this guy. But, you know, we'll have to see how it goes. And now, I do have a heavy Gauss rifle. If we can find more ammo, um, then we could build this thing around the heavy Gauss rifle, right? So that's a possibility. I only have four rounds for this. So, And from what I can read here, and maybe you guys can correct me, it says it only uses heavy Gauss ammo, so I don't think I'll be able to use other Gauss rounds with this guy. So um, if we can buy some, I'll go ahead and definitely do that. I did buy some Rack 2 ammo. I think we bought Rack 2 double ammo or something, so if we can get the Rotary 2s up and running, that'll be kind of cool. Uh, and they're real, these guys are light too, like you know, 11 tons each. Um, the Rack 5 that we have, uh, which I think I put into... Right, it's in the Defiance. Now, just so you know here, the Defiance, um, I dropped two ERPPCs in one arm, and in the other arm I put a Rack 5, and this thing's got a plus 15% um, damage increase um, fire control system built right into it. So, yeah, it's going to, hopefully, I, I was going to put a PPC capacitor in here as well, but it won't allow me to do that with the, uh, fire con with the uh, damage bonus in the head already. So I figured, you know, if it's adding 15% to the racks and stuff, uh, the racks are going to be hitting for, what, you know, like 52 damage, 51 damage each, the shots, and the PPCs are going to be hitting for 80 each. So it's actually not that bad. We've got enough ammo in here to go for, what, eight turns at full, um, full output on the rack. Uh, I do need weapon mounts in this thing. I was able to get an upper fire, I, I mean, we can't see it, but I was able to get an uh, upper uh, arm recoil redu reducer on this. And we do have the uh, enhanced imaging with the minus one uh, recoil on it. So that should help the rack out a fair bit. Well, at least something anyway, um, until we can get an arm mount and whatever else in here. But that's kind of how it's uh, laid out right now. So let's have a look at the uh, map here, just so you can see where we are. We're on the border with the, with the uh, Federated Suns. Yeah, so we're right here. We were back here, I think. Was it Better Mincy or somewhere over here? Anyway, we just jumped to here. Um, so we're just going to... It's a five-skull planet, not a four and a half. We're going to piddle around on this planet a bit. There's a bunch of contracts for the Draconis Combine that we can take here. Uh, now, I did match what I did with uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn with this. So the difficulty is now set to Mercenary. So we've gone up one level. And the contract range is now three rather than four. So we should get more contracts on the upper level here. Um, we've got a war criminal contract um, against the Draconis Combine. We're not going to take that. We're going to take forward observers here, I think, first. Um, it's against pirates. And I want to, because the reason why is I want to test out the Blood Asp and see how it's going to work here. Um, 
let's go full salvage and um, yeah Megasaur we're gonna leave you out for today and let's bring in Satori I think we got the Rotter the Grasshopper actually you know what let's pick and choose our mech lance today I normally don't do this but I'm gonna do it today let's bring Satori in um, and Speed of Sound Sonic I think and then let's go with um, the Hellbringer is the SRM6 heavy version, right? Let's give that to Speed of Sound Sonic. Let's bring that in today. And then the Timberwolf. I keep forgetting what these guys have. It's been a while since we played. This is more of a standard loadout, right? Two ER larges, two mediums, and an LRM15, right? Yeah, let's bring that in today, too. Um, or Yeah, we don't run this one that, that often, so let's bring this in. And let's have some fun with these guys. All right, here we go. Sweep the area, find them, clear them out. Now, most likely, they're going to have a second lance as well. Ah, oh, it's been a while since we played this map, eh? Um, how hardcore do we want to go on this? It is four skull. Let's just wait and see what we're up against here. Before we get overzealous. I hear ya. I'm interested to see. So that's the walk, not very far. Sprint, actually not bad for a 95 ton mech. Now if we put the supercharger on, I keep remembering to put the enhanced imaging on. So supercharger, man, look at that. So we can get right in on somebody with these LRM 20s. And if we switch to swarm, it says, I guess it's only six damage. Ah, eh, well. I guess it's better than five. Let's start off with Swarm. Now, we've got our supercharger activated, so let's just use it. Just get over here. Remember to turn that off. Your name is Speed of Sound Sonic. Now, do you have... You don't have I should probably put a mask in this thing, man. I haven't put a mask on this thing yet. Probably because I don't have the ability to. Now we got LK and Dead Fire and Acid. Okay, cool. Oh, what do we got here? Exterminator? Question mark? Raptor? All right. Well, hello there. Of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforced. Catapult, quick draw, thunderbolt P. These guys are reduced armor. I don't know about this guy though. Uh, let's get the catapult C2. He's got missiles, ballistic. I think these are the LRM15s and the uh, LBX2s. I think or fives or something. I don't know. Let's wind it up. Let's crack this guy a new one. Um, we're gonna warlord it too. Stand in the open. Let's hammer him. Uh, we want to go for headshots? Probably not. Let's just fire at him. Whoa, here's your arm. Oh, take a look at that arm, buddy. You enjoying it? You like the look of that? Alright, we got Swarm and Arrow, or Artemis. So let's just use the Artemis. Uh, and hammer this guy. Take this. See ya. Should have. Now the question is, I want to leave a supercharger on and get it shot in on one of these guys. Probably. Hmm. Okay, if we click on an enhanced imaging and supercharger, let's get up here. Take advantage of this. I want to see what we can do here. So we got the Thunderbolt, the Quick Draw, all ER mediums, Rotary 2, Pirate Flamers, and an MRM, medium heavy laser. This guy's probably more dangerous for sure. Let's go. We got the Swarm up. Look at that. I mean, he is flat-footed, but we just sprinted too, right? 
So if we warlord this, it's only gonna be ten percent more. Not gonna be enough to get it to five, I don't think. Well, let's hammer this guy and see how it works. <laughs> Say goodbye to your armor, buddy. <laughs> Say goodbye to your mech. It was only 360 damage. I don't know why he was like going down hard like that. What the hell? Uh, you need to get in close before you can do anything. So let's just park you here for a second. Okay. Just, just, just hang out for a second. Oh, Black Knight. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah. What the hell is this guy? Oh, he's got a Thunderbolt, whoever it is. What is it? Bushwhacker. Thunderbolt 10, I think. It's okay, we're gonna get out of there. See if we can get out of this with little and no damage. Most likely little, but... Come on, guys. Decide what you're doing. You got two smudges. What are you gonna do now? Probably the exterminator. Exterminator. We're running that exterminator in the uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. It's actually, you know, when I first looked at it, I'm thinking, ah, it's not that great a mech. It's got those ATMs on it now, and it's just, it just gets when it gets within medium range, at least medium close range, that thing just kills. At 65 tons with the LPS stealth system on it, it can get in nice and close. Put a cut a. Put a couple of ATM 12s on that thing, plus an ATM 3, and I think we've got like what something else on there. I can't a large laser or something. But it just kills, man. For 65 tons, you can probably lower the um, the engine weight and put a supercharger in it. So you could just creep up and then sprint in with the supercharger and just hammer people. Okay, so the Raptor is going to be an interesting uh, hit. We're going to go, we're going to leave the Raptor for, um, oh, it's, we're jammed already? We're going to leave the Raptor for um, the Blood Asp. All right, let's just fire on this. I just want to see what the chances to hit will be. All right, nice shots. Nice shots. Super sharp shooter shooting shots. Alright. Uh, Satori. Yeah, let's not, we don't need to go fast. Just gonna kind of come up here. Let them come out of the woodwork. Um, wow, really good chance to hit with those lerms. Ooh, head hit, nice. Um, sure. Okay. Okay, here we go. Twelve percent. Twelve percent. Twenty-nine percent. Twenty-three. Well, I guess it's gonna be the exterminator that gets the love. Um, one acid. The rest are going to be. Well, maybe we should just. Let's put two acid on him. We do more damage with the acid, so... Just to ensure we get it. Yeah, this loadout's really dependent on making sure we can actually get in close to somebody. you for showing up. All right, let's not forget to turn off supercharger. Enhanced imaging can stay on. And let's shoot. Oh. That's indirect. Direct is 63. That's pretty good. 
84, really? Um, is there a way we can... I guess there isn't. I was hoping we could cut off the view from certain enemies. Apparently not. Let's get into the trees. It'll help out. Um, I wonder if we should eliminate this guy. Or if we should hit the hammer this guy here. Four damage with swarm, eh? Three damage with swarm. I got a better idea. Let's target this guy. And then... You want thunder! Let's drop a minefield right on him. Whoops. Enemy mech destroyed. Well, at least the Black Knight runs through there. He's going to have a good problem with mines. Oh, it got all ten of them. Wow. Meh. Oh, Thunderbolt. Okay. Good to go. Satori. You betcha. Yeah, since we hit this guy already. Um. Maybe we should try pulling the raptor down. Before we get too close. Because he's going to fuck up our sensors, right? Um, I wonder if this guy, other guy is close enough. Let's use some... Uh, yeah, let's use the swarm. No, he's not close enough. Oh, yeah, he is. Nice. Okay. It's like whoever we shoot at goes down now. To the hell. These guys are paper warriors. At least until the Black Knight gets close. The Bushwhacker too, we'll see how the Whacker does when, we, when it gets in a little closer. Oof. Getting a little toasty over here. Can't see how passing out pills is very hard work. Ready for orders. Passing out pills? Passing out pills? 90% of my work is surgery and delivering babies in the middle of the night. Sorry guys, that's from the gun smoke assignment we had when we were in college. Um, editing assignment. Uh, why is it... Oh, that's ammo 50. I thought it was damage 50. Why the hell did I think it was that? Anyway, let's grind this guy up. Okay, nice. Do we take his head off? Hey. I don't think we did. Uh, that's going to give us an opportunity to get you in a little closer. Going as fast as I can. That's because you have speed of sound, Sonic! Hmm, wow. Even with the LK, it's pretty damn low, eh? Uh, let's... Hmm, let's multi. So, we're gonna go... This way. We don't have a lot of acid ammo, but we're gonna use it. Um so that we make sure we get acid on both these guys so next turn we can take them down quickly. Okay, so. enjoy the acid. And you enjoy the same, buddy. Enjoy it while you can. Yeah, so the Gunsmoke assignment was we had to take an episode from I see you from Gunsmoke. Um, yeah, I know. When isn't the armor low? Uh, we had, we they gave us an episode from Gunsmoke, the the old uh, TV western, and uh, we had to edit together a uh, just put together an edit on it, just to see if we could actually edit. It was just the editing assignment that they gave us. Now, did you run? 
I think you did. Yeah, you ran through the uh, minefield. Should we drop some more mines? You want thunder? All right. Have fun moving out of that minefield, guys. I hear ya. Do ya? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's kill the whacker here. Oh, he's in, gonna be in a lot of pain here. Use the swarm on him. There he goes. Sure as hell is. Here comes speed of sound. Sonic. Just want to make sure he's not the melee version. What's up, buddy? Did you enjoy that acid last turn? I got some dead fire here for you. Yes, Commander. He's all yours. Copy. Goodbye. Oh, he's still going, dude. Have a seat, though. Dude's got heart. I'll give him that. Even though he doesn't have a mech, but I'll give him that. He's got heart. Actually, uh, I should probably check. Oh, enhanced imaging, still fine. Um, 30%, huh? Mm. Oh, he does have a chainsaw. Yeah, the chance of hitting that head are pretty... Uh. Alright, let's uh, LK this guy. Because why not? There's 360 to the CT. Enemy mech destroyed. Shredded, you mean? He's sh freaking shredded, dude. Waiting for order. Got it. Lob some 15s onto this guy, please. Um, let's just go with uh, Artemis. Better chance to hit. Yeah, we just shoot first. Ask questions later. Go with the LK. Yeah, five damage, man. It's crazy. Somebody gets caught out in the open like that, and they're just in trouble. 80 times five. 400. It is all splash though, so I mean it's not like it's just to go behind the rock. It's not like we're getting an all direct fire attack on one location. But if you want to soften a target up, it's a good way to do it. Thanks for showing up, buddy. What can I do for you? Yeah, this guy's all yours, man. On my way. You uh, want to finish him up? Well, there's the knockdown. Hey. So yeah, I think this lance actually is, you know, pretty well loaded out here. Goodbye. Okay. These SRMs are deadly at close range. Mission successful. You figure even at close range that the dead fires are doing like 10 a pop. You can still do 300 damage. If they're doing 15 a pop, so 450 damage if you ate with everything, right? It's crazy. Shoot somebody in the back, and they're, they're in big trouble. All right, not a bad split there. The uh, Lance leaders did some good killing. Okay, let's see what we got here. Anything we can finish up? Eh, not really. Quick draw parts, Raptor parts. Eh. Pirate EC5, Death Stare. 
You know, we never did get the, uh, the, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, what was it called? Not the Raxilla. What's the, oh my god, I can't, the Annihilator? We're looking for something like that for, uh, for, um, Megasaur. I uh, don't need any of this stuff. It's not much we really need anymore, you know? Heavy Feral, eh. Prototype double heat sinks will take. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, take those. Definitely need those. Uh, and then let's grab um, let's grab a mech part. Let's grab. Uh, I'm gonna grab a catapult part only because I know we've got lots of other parts. That we might be able to put one together. But we'll see. Okay, bushwhacker part, catapult, exterminator, exterminator, quick draw, thunderbolt. So good smattering of parts, and then junk. All right. Let's have a look here. D7,000 in repairs. It's a little more than I thought, but I mean, the mechs that we have um, do have an increase in cost to repair them, so kind of expected something along that line. Um, let's bring the Black Knight up. Let's bring the Defiance up, because uh, we have to go into the next month anyway. I want to make sure these guys keep getting repaired. Um, so uh, let's go into the next month. We'll get these mechs repaired and back. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. Yeah, it's not the 2.2 .2 million that the uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn has, but um, it's weird. These guys have great parts, and Jade Falcon's got good mechs. It's just, uh, yeah. All right, let's get our mainlands back. There we go. And let's take a look here. Uh, maybe we do take the one against the Draconis Combine then. Because it is the... Oh, we got another one here. Biological sample. We got a couple more here. Repossession. That'll be tough. Armored vehicles. And then this one is... Operative some inside a research facility. I think this one's going to be a tougher of the two missions. So let's take this one. Let's negotiate. And I don't think we want all that much from these guys. So I think we go this route. Um, yeah, let's go this route. Oh, I think we got those missions because our reputation went up. Alright, so we're not going to bring the Hellbringer. Um, we're going to bring um, Cataphract. And I'm questioning whether or not we want the Archer for this one as opposed to the Timberwolf. Um... Because I want to hit those vehicles when they can't see me. I want to rain some pain down on them. Um, the Cataphract and the Marauder can do all the direct fire attacks. Right? Because the Cataphract's got the two ERPPCs and the Ultra 5. Um, and Marauder's pretty much the same. Right? The Rack, the two ERPPCs, and the ER Mediums. Now, I think we're going to do that. I think what we'll do is we'll bring in the Archer... Let's switch these two around. Um, do we want to do that? Yeah, I think we do. Let's run this way. Yeah, let's go this way and see how it goes. Alright, here we go. Well, that's kind of nice. All right, there's a Lance of Max around here somewhere too. What's up, boss? Don't reveal yourself. Just move forward, Heading please. Up. Waiting on you, Commander. Now, the blood ass was going to be better from a direct fire standpoint, um, and I think the archer is probably going to be better at indirect, but we'll see. Because the Artemis it's got in it is a bonus for indirect. Alright, what do we got here? Demolisher 2? Oh god. Oh my god! Okay, um... Let's go for the more damage. Let's Warlord this better chance to hit. Oh, it's going to do 7 damage. Okay, good. 
That's nice to know. It's got two Thunderbolt 20s. Okay. Of course you are. Strip that armor off it. These guys can't see us. They're going to be in a lot of trouble. Um, yeah. Do I want to warlord this right now? I think so. Let's front load the damage on these guys if we can. Alright, everything hit. Nice. All right, they can see us. It's not good. Well, I mean, if they couldn't see us, then you know they got an issue. On my way. What do we got over here? Extended range LRM carrier. Okay. Um. Yeah, warlord. And let's max rack this. Let's grind him up. Ooh. That's good. Not as good as I was hoping for. Damage effects on those are nice because it gives you an idea what they have. These guys are not that these guys are pretty fast. Oh ow. Okay, yeah, that's spread everywhere. We've only got Artemis, right? Um, right, front loading the damage. Here we go. By front loading the damage, I don't mean applying extra damage, I mean giving us a better chance to hit. I think we can probably pull our direct fire units back. Maybe. What have we got back here? Catapult, eh? There's another vehicle here somewhere, probably in here. Okay. This guy's changed his positioning. Well, fire and pull back. Okay, got the tag on him. Make sure we're in the trees, pull back. Ow. Problem with Sunflower is she doesn't have the, uh, Ability to fire and maneuver. Huh. You can hold on for a second. Wish I could figure out what the chance to hit would be from here. Advancing, I guess. Well, ninety nine's good. Oh shit, you got mine. Um. Moving out. Fifteen, eh? 
Huh. It's not direct fire from there, eh? It is from here, though. See if we can finish this guy up. Um, yep. Sure can. Six times eighty is four eighty. All right, what are they up to? Oh, someone's got a hyper assault. Gorilla. Okay, it's so a Zephyr they got. Okay, you can cut it out now. Yeah, I know, it's not very nice, is it? Once this demolisher's gone, they're done. Once the demolisher's gone, they're all done. Ready for orders. You think, girl, want to kill yourself a demolisher? So her left side is damaged. So we gotta try and face the enemy like this. Confirmed. And shoot this guy. I copy. Oh, are you kidding me? Solid connection on that one. What the hell? Yeah, thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. Let's make sure we kill this guy. See ya. A little overkill, but you know, that's how we do. Enemy unit destroyed. Back the fuck up. What can I do for you? Can you grind some shiz down here for me? Can we get on that guy? Take minefield damage, but we can't do much about that. 42, eh? God damn it. Got it. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. Don't ever feel hey. bad about shooting the little guys. Grind them up, please. Oh, for Christ's sake, really? Just want to see this guy. Uh. Come on, move forward. Novacat, eh? Cool. Let's see if we can get some Novacat parts. It's a Novacane! Catapult's creeping around back there somewhere too. So Catapult, Novacat, Gorilla, uh, and probably one more. And I can't remember if we saw another one. Don't think I remember anything else. Vehicle deciding where it's gonna go. Come on, make up your mind. I got mechs to kill here. Get a chance to use my supercharger again. Oh, I forgot to turn on the enhanced imaging. Oh, you're moving forward. Sure, buddy. Welcome. Welcome to the jungle. Does anybody need to cool off? Step on that guy? Guess not. I guess not. All right, well. Got to remember to keep turning these things on. And let's move up to here. Full yeah, I can't spot anything. You're at a range. All right, well. 
I was hoping to see that gorilla, but he's pretty hidden down there. You got some eyes on you, buddy. Oh, we got this guy here, that's why. Good to go. Um waiting for orders. What do you think, girl? Kill this guy? Roger that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Vehicle trashed. That's how we recover vehicles in the Jaconis Combine. Okay, cheeky cat back there. That's the catapult. What can I do for you? Oh, well. Got a bit of a far oh there he is. Grip. Chance to hit this guy. Not bad. Uh, let's see if we can get a tag or a tagger on him or something. Uh -huh. Nope. Hey, stand still when I'm attacking you. I heal. Can't dodge missiles though. Dodge this. I Someone's getting a minefield next turn. Unless he goes before us. Then we're, then he's not getting a minefield. The gorilla should be, though. I wonder if we'd ever be able to lay a minefield down thick enough to take the legs off like a light or a medium mech or something. Hey, you know what? Let's find out. If we don't actually kill him. Let's see what we can do here. So, let's thunder this up. Drop it on this guy. Yeah, not a whole lot. But it should lay a thick enough minefield. I have no idea how thick it is. But LRM 80 at 2 per mine, that could be a lot of damage, potentially. Hmm. Wish I knew how much armor it had left in the legs. Nice try. What? He hit you with the tag! You don't want that? See if he moves. Alright, well. You're not going to be seeing that gorilla anytime soon. Oh, Christ. Why do I open my mouth? There he is. There's the Nova Cat. Catapult's just jerking around back there, eh? Um, okay, well. What's the chance to hit this guy? That's pretty damn good. I'm going to Warlord that. And we're going to do an offensive push. He is in the open. If we get his head, he's gone. But um, we'll try for his legs later on. <laughs> ah, it's so enjoyable when that happens. Oh, Nova Cat parts. A little bit of fire maneuver here. Let's cool off a bit. Uh, let's shoot this guy. Getting him in the side, but that's fine. Uh, a little bit of a hit on him. Not much. But a little bit. Let's get back here. Speed of sound, Sonic. Um, yeah, hammer him. Okay. We're not going to do much. Once he gets a little closer, we'll warlord him. Yeah, I was really hoping that minefield would do more against the raven, but... I don't know, maybe we lose the minefields. I guess thunder's not bad. If you can get it in a good control point, it's probably pretty good. Or if you can get them in a group and drop it down... Especially if you're looking to take to uh, take some salvage. Waiting for orders. Um, this guy wants to offer himself up as a sacrificial lamb. We'll take it. Tell me what you do. Uh, let's not get the catapult involved in this. Let's just move back here. On my way. Standing by. 
Roger. Uh, yeah. All weapons are good. Not bad. Reporting critical hits. He's got a load of lerms coming, so. I want to get the archer on him. Let's just get you over here. If you can't see the uh, gorilla, you can see the gorilla. I think we target him instead. Um, let's just go with LK. No idea. It sounded like something bad happened to him, but I highly doubt it. Pretty stealthy, but not stealthy enough. Although I have to say, this is probably a pretty good measure of determining how well our um, stealth works hey. against their sensors. There. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. See ya. Thanks for showing up. With the exception of those uh, couple of hits by the demolisher there early on, we've done pretty well here. Yeah, you know, the hags, I don't know, man. It's a nice idea, but they just don't crit enough. So using them is just really, I don't know. It's not all that great. It really isn't. Uh, I think we can take this guy out, so let's just do this. Alright, grind him up, please. He's got a good damage reduction, but it's not going to save us, save him from all of us. You betcha! Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody... <laughs> somebody's uh, infernal ammo exploded. He's in meltdown mode now. I wonder if I should put the... Um, rather than the tracker sensors, I think we've got range, ranged sensors. I wonder if I should put that on the blood asp. Oh. To get increased range. But I mean, we got supercharger, so I could put it on this guy instead. Uh, yeah, leg. Yeah, whole body, whatever. I got it. You did? That's totally amazing. Oh, direct fire, nice. Just when you, just when you thought it was safe to come back into the battle. Um, I'm going to vigilance this. Gonna warlord it, confirm, target him, switching to swarm, and giving him a warm, warm welcome. Enemy critical damage detected. And let's just give him the good news. Good news is he doesn't have to suffer anymore. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. I don't know. I, I, you know, with the past couple missions, I, I would say that without, you know, knowing what we're going to be like on a uh, warm planet, I think this blood asp actually isn't that bad. If we had more swarm ammo, we could swap out the thunder for swarm. I mean, because the chances to hit are really good, and just like 80 times 7 is like 540 damage of missiles, right? Um, if we can get a side shot on somebody, they're toast, and if we don't, if we get a front shot, let's say on a 100 ton mech, definitely going to soften it up enough to take legs off and stuff, right? Or take out torsos. So, yeah, I don't know, not bad, not bad, I guess. But it's 95 tons, or 90 tons, you know? Just kind of feels weird using it for a 90-ton mech. 
Uh, we've got five of eight gorilla parts. Nova Cat, I think we were talking about, but we don't really have. Uh, we got tons of ER larges. Don't need it. Don't really think we have any other Nova Cat parts. That's the problem. Client XL, we got lots of these. Client Exchanger, we don't have any of. I know that. So that's a possibility. Fire Control System, Machine Gun. Wow. Predator. Uh, Feral Lamellar. Um, I think that is a great option. I think that's a great option. Prototype double heatsink, though. Oh, man. I know it's going to sound stupid, but I want to get another prototype double heatsink mech in, the, in play. So let's bring the uh, supercharger, too. Upper ballistic. Yeah, I should have gotten max salvage on this one. I just was I was just expecting vehicles and then not a great unit after that. But, you know, okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. Raven, Gorilla, and we got an overcat part. Okay. Ah, Gorilla part. Nice. Okay. 103,000. Not bad. We took those two big hits, those two big 80 damage hits from the de Demolisher. Good thing that wasn't double ultra 20s. It could have been big. <laughs> Could have been really bad. Um, yeah, so I think... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm really not minding the loadout. So let's bring the Marauder up, get that repaired. Defiance... Uh, sorry, Black Knight definitely needs to come up. Let's get the Defiance up. Right, that'll finish. Then let's bring in the Blood Ass. So these will both be done in five, and then these two... So seven days, we'll have all these mechs back, with the exception of the Marauder, of course. Okay, we'll get to be able to get the Defiance up and running next next episode. Get that into battle. Black Knight will be able to repair. Uh, it's it's going to take a while before it's actually back in action. Um, we're just still repairing all the physical damage it took. So it'll be back in action shortly enough. We've got talent. we got enough to replace everything that was in it, so I'm not worried about that. Um, but yeah, once it's back, it'll be uh, hard-hitting all, all over again. Okay, so I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll stay on this planet. Uh, there's still... Let's have a look at the contracts real quick. There's still a bunch of contracts we can do here. Um, and there is War Criminal. We've got Biological Sample. Um, both four and a half skulls. And then some uh, three and a half skulls down here. I think probably what I'll do is... Um, yeah, probably what I'll do is... Um, Maybe increase the difficulty one more. We're at Mercenary right now. We'll go one more, I think. Pirate, I think, is the next one. Whatever the next one is. Um, I think the the going up to Mercenary, I think what we saw there in the battles today, uh, we're getting closer to where the level is, where it's going to be really challenging. So I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. I don't want to kill my guys off, obviously, but uh, get a little bit more competition. That last battle I thought was quite good. Um yeah, we managed to survive it, but if those demolishers had, had had a chance to get some more direct fire on us, we could have been in a lot of trouble. So, yeah, that's my goal anyway, is to try and make it just a little bit more challenging. Okay, so I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can drop a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Um, also, if you drop a dislike, I have no problem with that, but drop a comment. Tell me why. Um, if you disagree with stuff, just let me know, because, you know, I, I love knowing stuff like that. So, yeah, and until next time, we'll see everybody later.